Okay, in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple line drawing uh, over an existing photo, as in this example here. And what you should have prepared beforehand is the an image that you wish to draw over and perhaps a secondary image that you want to take your inspiration from. So you see I have both of mine here on the desktop and that's just going to allow us for some faster access. Uh, for the line drawing part, what you should consider about is how your drawing can complement or work with your photo. And some examples that uh, you've seen in class is it is possible to do something like this as well, just simply by doodling around the photo or over the photo. Uh, or as in this example here that this artist does with with her cats. One thing you should keep in mind as well is that if your photo needs any editing as in straightening or cropping you should do that beforehand before moving on uh, to this video and if you wish to have it in color or in black and white that should be decided as well. So the first thing we're going to do is open up Illustrator and just go up to the spotlight and simply just start typing it in and it'll be this one here double click to open and you see it opens like this and the first thing we're going to need to do is go to file new and give your work a title uh, you can do that now or later and yours might open as a4 uh, what you should decide though is if you wish it to, ha to have it in portrait mode or landscape mode uh, if you're doing the square mode, simply create your width and your height as the same dimensions and click OK. So you see the canvas is here, it's the white area. Uh, we have our tools over here. Uh, yours, if it opens in a single column format, simply click this little triangle here. And just to make sure, go up to the window here, select workspace and make sure your essentials is clicked on, then it'll look the same as mine. What we'll need to do is to put these photos into this document. So I'm just going to take the first one here, just drag it over. And you see it goes beyond my canvas size. So what I'll need to do is decrease this view because currently I'm at 100%. And to do that, I'm just going to press Command minus. And then I'm going to have to resize the photo into this canvas area. And you see if I click and drag the corners, uh, the dimensions get construed. So just Command Z to edit, undo that, or just go up to here, edit. Uh, to keep the same dimensions, you just hold down the Shift key and then drag the corner. And I'm just going to go then place that over here. And now I'm going to Command Plus to zoom in. And I'm just going to adjust the corners a little bit more. Again, holding down Shift. And over here you have your Layers button. And if you double click this, you can give it a title, I'm just going to call it pick one, press enter. But what I'll need is a secondary layer. So I'm just going to go down to this button here. And this is where I'm going to put my second photo. And I'm doing this because basically what I'm going to do is trace over this photo. So again, the image is too big, so I command minus, hold down shift, resize it, put it in the square, command plus and adjust the corners again. And what we're going to do now is you see, you can turn off and you can't see this other picture here because the layer, you see if I click and drag that underneath, it just switches. So I'm going to turn this layer off for a moment because we don't need it just yet. And I'm going to simply work with this one and I'll call it the flower or plant and I'm going to zoom in a bit more and what we're going to do is simply trace over the photo using the brush tool. Now if you don't have a secondary photo it is possible just to go into this photo and just start drawing on top of it. To do this we're going to go over to this brush tool here select that and you'll see I'm using a black line or a black stroke in the fill. I'm going to change this to white click OK and you see if I just it goes over there like that so I'm just going to command Z I'm just going to use a, a smaller size maybe 0.25 now before I start drawing though I want to create another layer and I'll call it the flower drawing so I'm going to 
lock this one just by clicking in there and I have this selected so I can draw on it. If you have this uh, you'll start to draw on the actual photo itself uh, but you see I can't there's that little no symbol there because I have the layer locked so make sure you select your appropriate layer and have my paintbrush tool selected I have my size uh, this is all you're going to need for now so I'm going to zoom in a bit and now I'm just using two fingers to scroll up I'm just going to start tracing uh, this flower and just start tracing now it doesn't have to be super perfect you see it'll adjust or kind of repair itself as well Let's pretend I have this all drawn out, and you see if I turn off the flower one, we don't see anything because I have a white drawing on white paper, and if I turn the other one back on and click and slide this down, you see there's uh, our work here. And I don't like this, so I'm going to just erase it. Let's see if I go back to the drawing, actually I'm going to turn this off for a second. Uh, if you start moving this stuff, you'll see it just moves the line segment. So if you click and hold and select everything and do Command G to group it, you'll then be able to move the drawing as a, oops, as a whole. And then you can decide where you would like it placed and it, then you can increase the size or distort it or stretch it. Uh, if you wish to rotate it, simply go to the corners and... Alright, so let's say I'm done. Uh, what you'll have to do next is go to File, Export, Export As, give it a title. For your title, please put your full name, or sorry, please put your tutor group, your full name, and call it Digital Draw. Uh, save it onto the desktop. The format, we're going to keep it as a JPEG, and we're going to click Use Art Use Artboards. Uh, that means anything that's going out of this frame, this board, won't be included in the photo. So click Export. Uh, you can leave it at CMYK. I like to use a high setting. Uh, medium might be okay too, but uh, click OK. And if you move over here, you'll see here it is, the two group full name digital drawing. And it's like that. Please make sure it's saved in your Google Drive folder and if there are any other further instructions on where to post it, uh, please, pay a pen. please pay attention to that. Now one thing though is if you want to save this file, if you ever need to work on it in the future, it's important that when you create your Illustrator file and it's saved on the desktop, maybe you put it in a folder and you should keep these two images in that folder as well. Alright, good luck.